हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टारगेट 100 इन मैथमेटिक्स बाय शिवेश कुमार सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वेरी इजी टॉपिक दैट इज फैक्टोरियल एंड इट इज द टॉपिक ऑफ परमिटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन लेट्स स्टार्ट द लेसन सी व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ फैक्टोरियल इट्स वेरी ईजी टर्म टू अंडरस्टैंड इन मैथमेटिक्स एंड इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑल्सो फैक्टोरियल मीन्स इफ यू हैव अ नंबर फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज फाइव इफ यू हैव फाइव and factorial we write like this or you can see sometimes it is also written like this 5 factorial or factorial 5 whatever you want you can say so what it will be it will be multiplication of all the natural numbers from 5 to 1 means 5 multiply 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 multiply by 1 and it will be equal to 120 okay so basically factorial means you can see we can find a known fact term that is factor factor means a number which can divide another number then it will be the factor so now you can see here 5 can divide 120 so factor 4 can divide 120 so factor same for 3 and same for 2 also okay so this is by like this you can memorize this thing that how to find the factorial similarly if you have to find factorial 3 so factorial 3 means 3 multiply 2 multiply 1 means 3 multiply 2 6 6 multiply 1 is 6 okay like this you can find the factorial of any natural number in general way if you want to write it can be if n is any natural number then factorial n will be what it will be equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 and so on up to 3 2 1 like this you can find the expansion of factorial n okay now you can ask a question that if we have negative of any number factorials then what we will do see if you have alone then you cannot find it okay because for this definition n should be greater than or equal to 0 why because factorial 0 is assumed to be 1 this is the assumed value because factorial 1 will be equal to also 1 then you can say that 0 is not equal to 1 so why factorials of the numbers are equal so it is the assumed value okay factorial 0 is equal to 1 so i was telling you about this for example you have negative of uh, factorial of negative 5 so if single then you cannot calculate it but if it is written like this factorial negative 5 over factorial of negative 4 or any two numbers okay then you can simplify this how see what number is bigger minus 5 or minus 4 of course minus 5 is the bigger number so let it be like this only don't change it and factorial of negative 4 can be written as negative 4 times factorial of negative 5 now factorial of negative 5 cancelled out and you will get minus 1 over 4 okay like this you can see you will not see this thing in ncert or in any simple examination but yes in some competitive examinations it can be used directly okay same goes with the fractional calcul fractional factorial also for example if you have to consider 3 by 2 factorial of 3 by 2 so if it is written single then you cannot calculate it but if it is written like this 1 over 2 factorial also then you can calculate how because factorial uh, 3 over 2 is bigger than 1 over 2 so we will simplify or you can say we will reduce 3 over 2 so it will be 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 minus 1 means 1 over 2 factorial divided by 1 over 2 factorial and these two will be cancelled out and answer will be 3 over 2 okay this use, uh, use of this number you can find somewhere in binomial theorem of uh, non natural number index or rational index okay like that you can see its usage over there now other than this you can have some simple questions in factorial like some reasoning questions will also be there okay so let's start with some easy questions for example they say factorial 5 plus factorial 2 will it be equal to factorial 7 then you will say no why because factorial 5 plus factorial 2 will be equal to what factorial 5 means 5 multiply 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 and multiply 1 plus factorial 2 means 2 multiply 1 
So it will be equal to 120 plus 2 means it will be 122. And what will be factorial 7? Factorial 7 will be equal to 7 times 6 times 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I am writing at 120 because just now I have calculated here. So, of course, it has it will be very much greater than 122. So, you can say therefore, factorial 5 plus factorial 2 is not equal to factorial 7. Okay, like this you can have some reasoning based question also. Okay, now another thing can be another type of question can be they can say that write factorial 10 in the form of factorial 5. So, can you say that factorial 10 is equal to 2 times of factorial 5? Of course, no, it is wrong. Okay, what you will do here? You will say factorial 10 is equal to 10, 9, multiply 8, multiply 7, multiply 6 and after that you can write factorial 5 because after this you will have 5 multiply 4, 3, 2, 1. So, for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 you can write factorial 5 and you will calculate this multiplication and then that will be the answer in terms of factorial 5. Okay? Now, you can see some important questions are given in NCRT also like you can have factorial 8 over factorial 6 multiplied by factorial 3. We have to find its answer. So, how you will do this? You see every time you just try to reduce the bigger factorial. Okay? Here you can see biggest factorial is factorial 8. So, 8 can be written as 8 multiply 7 multiply factorial 6 over factorial 6 as it is and factorial 3 means 3 multiply 2 multiply 1. So, factorial 6 will be cancelled out and you will have factor 8 into 7 you see I think uh, yes sim some simplification can be done 8 divided by 2 is 4, 4 multiply 7 is 28 over 3 this will be the answer. Okay? Now, another very important question of NCRT can be like if 1 over factorial 7 plus 1 over factorial 8 is equal to x over factorial 9, then find the value of x. Okay? So, what we can do here, see what is the biggest factorial? 9 and the smallest factorial is 7. So, we will write other two factorials in terms of the smallest factorial that is factorial 7. So, what you can write here? 1 upon factorial 7 as it is because it is the smallest factorial. Factorial 8 can be written as 8 multiply 7 factorial equal to x over 9 factorial can be written as 9 multiply 8 multiply factorial of 7. Now, you can see 1 over factorial 7 can be taken common. It will be 1 plus 1 over 8 is equal to x over 9 times 8 times factorial 7. Now, factorial 7 both sides it will be cancelled out. 1 plus 1 upon 8 will be equal to 9 upon 8 is equal to x upon 9 multiplied by 8. 8 also cancelled out and x will be equal to 9 multiply 9 means 81. Okay? Like this you can get the answer. Okay? And I will tell you the shortcut also, but this shortcut is not for your main examination, not for the CBSE examination. But yes, in the competitive examinations or if you have multiple choice question, then you can apply this shortcut. What is that shortcut? If you have all the three numbers in continuation like 7, 8, 9 and x is written with the biggest number, Okay, please remember the condition. First condition is number should be written in continuation and x should be with the biggest number. Maybe you have 4, 5, 6 or 9, 10, 11 like this. So, what will be the answer? Value of x will be equal to the biggest number to the power 2. Okay? For example, if you have a question 1 upon factorial 10 plus 1 upon factorial 11 is equal to x upon factorial 12. So, what will be the value of x? Value of x will be 12 raised to the power 2 means it will be 144. Okay? You can check by solving this simple method like what I have explained here. 
okay i am sure this thing you have understood similarly you can have some other questions from ncrt like they can say find the value of factorial n over factorial of n minus r where n is equal to some value and r is also equal to some value for example say 7 is the value of n and value of r is 3 so what it will be factorial 7 upon factorial 7 minus 3 and it will be factorial 7 upon factorial 4 and it will be equal to 7 times 6 times 5 and then factorial 4 divided by factorial 4 factorial 4 cancelled out and you will get 7 multiply by 30 means 210 this will be the answer like this you can solve the questions of factorial okay I am sure you understood this easy topic and if you think that such videos will help you to increase your knowledge, please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends also. Thank you.